Weather FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3 2 defeat to Taunton in the National South. How are you feeling after that one, Adam? Oh, yeah, obviously, you know, a bit disappointed. Got stuff in a great position, 2 0. 2 0 up. Um, I think we're in complete control of the game, and then David gives it away. The lag gets played through, goes round the goalie, maybe sending off or whatever. I don't know if we can get that and a penalty, but. You know, the naivety that we've shown is just a million miles away from Tuesday night. And it's hard to take, like, same bunch of players. Maybe we're missing Josh and Ollie a bit more than what we may anticipate. Um, how Ollie goes off, it seems to all go to pot, doesn't it? Um, so yes, yeah, a bit of a wake up call for us. Um, in complete control of the game, I thought we was only time they looked dangerous is on the counter attack, and you know, number 13 has got two penalties and gone round our goalie. He's got a one on one, and you know I think the naivety that we show at times is just unbelievable. It really, is unbelievable, um, and you've got to start learning quickly. It's a, it's a tough league, like I said to you the other day. It's a tough place to calm, but I thought we was complete control of the game, and then just for it to unravel in the way it did, um, you know it's. It's, it's shocking and really disappointed for all the fans that have took their time to you know, time, money, effort to come and travel all this way. And you know, for us to just unravel like that is beyond disappointing really and it's nowhere near good enough and um, luckily we haven't done it too many times this season but I can't stress to you enough how disappointed I am with with myself. I look at myself first. Um, what I changed, and and you know, as as a, as a group all together, we were we were way off it today, and you know, I can't apologise enough to everyone that's given up their time and money to, to come and support us today. It almost felt like once they got that goal, they hit us the counter attack. They got that goal late in the second half, the, the tide sort of shifted, and they looked like they were more interested in the game than they were earlier. Was that the sort of changing point? Do you think that affected the team quite negatively? Uh, maybe. I, I still feel like we was in control and having lots of possession, but um, you know, it looked like an end-of-season game where it didn't really matter to either team at one point. I don't know how big of a game you need to, to be up for it and run about and show spirit and stuff, and you can't just do it at Farnborough away. So it's invaluable that you do it. Every every minute of every game, because if you give a team a sniff in this league, they'll be all over it, and they they were today. And um, yeah, like I say, I've got a thought our oh, naivety, and we sh we show it at times, even in the games we've won. But you know, tra travel all this way, you give up so much time, you get off to a good start, you go two 0 up, and then just to unravel in the way we did is is unacceptable. Um, just got to learn. Just to touch on uh, Ollie Pierce scored early on but got injured in the celebration it seemed like afterwards. Is there any update on how he is? Yeah, I think it was in the actual contact of um, when he's gone through. I think the lad just got him. I think it's just like a dead hip or something. So it's nothing too sinister. He hasn't twisted or it's not an ankle or knee or anything. It's just literally an impact injury. Um, so yeah, it's, it's what it is. Um, I thought we showed a lack of discipline as well throughout the pitch. I thought, you know, we wanted wanted to change it, bring Danny Barker on, play packs higher, and he still comes deep and tries to get on the ball. And you know, we just wanted everyone wanted to come and get it to feet. And you need players that are going to run in behind, and then you need players to provide a bit of quality. Um, the golf in our quality levels throughout, like one to eleven today, was was ridiculous. It really was. And, I'd say, God, we've got to learn very quickly that you can't afford to be like that. God, we, can, we want players that are consistent at this level, and we just didn't get that today. Quick opportunity to change things around, though, for Tuesday at Chesham. Yeah, yeah, you've got to, I mean, like Craig, <laughs> he's not going to give you nothing up there. It's an even tougher place to go on par with this one. Another long journey on a Tuesday night, and just got to be up for the fight. Like, to gift goals away, you'd wonder how the hell we're in the position we are, to be honest, like we did. And then that's, that's off the back of a clean sheet where we were superb defending our box. Um, you know, we gifted a goal on a counter attack from a corner, and it could have been like three clean sheets. And then you go from that to this today, and you know, you'd think I don't emphasise it in the, 
how important clean sheets are and to, um, you know that was a big part of my team talk is to keep a clean sheet I think we score goals going another way and, it, and it's gifts it's gifts it's gifts where people switch off and I think you know two new up it's got to be a shift in, in mindset it has to be and you know that's very hard to, to try and put into players and you know, like I say the, the naivety we show we've got, we've got we've got to learn very quickly young group young players have got to step up to the plate um, probably the youngest average age throughout the team we can't hide behind that like Got to use that to our advantage, and we most certainly didn't today.